Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at installing custom themes. Now as you guys do know I was planning on doing this for last week's video. However, I ran into some issues with my home automation and restored a backup. So we have that up and running again. So everything's good to go. Now, what we could do is um, I already did this on my end. What I'm going to do is I have a clean installation. So it is going to be a very clean installation that I'm going to do this on. But it should cover everything that you need to know on being able to install custom themes. So with that said, let's quickly go ahead and take a look. There we go. So we're back in here. As you can see, it is a very clean and new installation. So there's not a lot in here. I do some add-ons on here, but just the basic stuff. Um, this is just going to be for this video um, because it's already active on my one. Um, I'll go ahead and do it on here. So what we do need to do is you do need to make sure that you have the Hacks uh, Community Store installed. So please do make sure that you have already followed this. I have a video up of how to install the Hacks or Community Store. I'm going to update this as well. But once you have this installed, um, you'll see you don't have any themes options up here. So what to, I'll do is I'll just show you guys how to have that option listed all the way up here to the top. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and access our configuration files again. So all you'll do is you'll just go in here and say hasio.local or the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Then once you're in here, all we, once you're in here, all you do is you click on the config. And then right here, we need to go ahead and create a new folder. And this folder is going to be called themes. Once you have that, we're going to leave it as is. Nothing, uh, no additional changes is necessary on there. Then the last thing we need to do is open up our configuration.yaml file. Now, as you can see, this one is quite empty because it is a new installation. What I'll do is I'll just right click and paste. We need to go in here and add in the front end, um, if you don't have it already, and then add the themes option and then just say include the dictionary named themes. Remember, that's why we created a... So remember, that's why we went ahead and created the themes folder. Once we have this in here, all we do is we go in here, hit the save button to save that configuration. And then we need to go in here and restart our Home Assistant installation. So let me go in here and restart the installation real quick and then I'll get back to you. And that's it. So Home Assistant restarted. We're back in here. Everything still looks exactly the same. The only difference is we've made that configuration change and we added the folder in there. So now if we click on the community store right here, you'll see it's going to um, update the information right here. So we need to wait for that to finish before we'll be able to install some of these themes. But as you can see right here, is a new option that shows themes. So as soon as we click on here, you'll see we have a bunch of options and it's still being updated. But from here, we can go in and install the custom themes that we would like to use. So I'll just wait for this to finish up real quick and then we can look at the options we have in here. There we go. So that went in and updated all the information for us. So we have a huge list of themes on here. Now, guys, keep in mind, I'm not going to go into depth because a lot of these themes um, also rely on some additional plugins uh, or um, visual changes that you can also use from the community store that you can go in and install. But each of those has a unique way of setting it up. So they may be a bit different for each one. But the, the standard theme, the layout and the look, you can go ahead and change that as you move along. So in here, the ones that I usually like is all the dark themes. So I ha we have a clear theme here right here that's dark I really like this one and as soon as you click on it it's opening up the page for the theme and it'll show you exactly how to install this as well now you can see we already did this so we should be good to go on here it'll show you a screenshot of how this theme would look and then right here you see we have optional custom cards and that's just the custom cards that was used within the screenshot itself so you don't need to install these these are just additional custom cards that you can install and then it gives you some known problems if there is anything so each and every theme you open up is going to have a different page around here um, up here that'll show you 
all the information or if you need to have any additional information. So to install it, all we do is we click on install right here and then wait for that to finish up. There we go. So that was fairly quick. It just installed. Everything should be good to go. Um, all we do now is we go into our uh, profile right here. So this guy's name is Jack. So we just click on here and then under the theme option, we see it shows back and selected. So if we click here, we see we do have that clear dark theme. So we can click on that. And as soon as we click on it, it changed the whole theme for our Home Assistant installation. Now this is per user, so you can go in and change it for each of the accounts that you have. So each user could have their own custom theme. So this is the basic way of setting up all the information of having the ability, a quick and easy way just to hit install and then you have those themes. So you can go through the list. As you can see, it did update everything in here and you can install the additional themes that you'd like to have. So you can go in here and install as much as you'd like and switch between them to see everything and how they look. If you click on it, you do have a screenshot in there as well that'll show you exactly how the theme looks. But I think I'm going to leave it there. As I've said, I'm not going in too deep into showing you guys how to set up custom cards. Um, that may be some future videos, but this is just for having the option to install custom themes quick and easy. There we go guys, so that's going to be it for this one, I know it was a really fast video, just showing you guys exactly how to do it, once you have the custom themes in there, I may go in deeper in the future showing you how to add some custom cards in there, but for this one I just wanted to have you guys uh, set up and ready to install all the themes you'd like to have on there, there is some custom additional ways you can do this, but this is the, this is the easiest way you can go in and install those custom themes. If you guys do have any questions, you can go ahead and write them down below, and I'll be happy to answer as much as I can. Just remember, I'm just an average guy, so I don't know a lot about home automation. I just show you guys the process as I do my home assistant setup. So as I set up my automations, we'll go ahead and do that as well. But I think I'm going to leave you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.